Will changing your DNS settings really give you a faster internet? Well, I've always been using that as part of my tips and every time I do, I ultimately will get somebody in the comments going, but DNS doesn't change your internet speed. Well, today we're going to find out. Today we're going to prove once and for all, end this debate, does DNS settings really improve your internet speed? Let's do this. And welcome back to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name's Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you're into phones, gadget apps, tips and tricks and how to, consider hitting that subscribe button. For the rest of you long-time viewers, welcome back to another episode. And today, we're gonna end this debate of DNS settings. Does it changing the DNS settings make a difference to your internet speed? Yes or no? Right, let's start off with what is DNS? Let's just say you got a web browser and you're gonna type in my blog, thetechieguide.com and press enter and voila, the blog comes up. Let's just say you wanna type google.com and there we go, Google comes up. So how does your web browser know where to go? Well, it knows because it translates the name google.com into an IP address. Let me show you this. So if I drop down into command and I type in ping google.com and press enter, you can instantly see that it translates that into an IP address. So google.com becomes this 172.217 blah 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 IP address. In fact, if I copy that IP address, go back and open up a web browser, instead of typing in google.com, I can actually type in the IP address and it will open up google.com. So essentially what a DNS does, it translates the English characters website addresses into IP addresses so it knows where to fetch the information from. So what has all this got to do with speed? Well, let me show you. Here is you, there is your router to your ISP, and then let's bring out a DNS server in the cloud somewhere. Right, now your computer wants to go to google.com, in which case it requests that information. The DNS server says, okay, I know what this is, here is the IP address, and then off you go, you direct your browser, and you go to the website, you can start using it. But what happens if the DNS doesn't know what the address is? Then it's got to ask a secondary DNS, say, hey, do you know what this URL is? And either it does or it doesn't. If it doesn't, it goes up to the authoritative DNS to try to figure out where your website is. Now, all of these processes back and forth take some time. Okay, so we know this process takes some time, but how much effects does it have on our speed? So let's test that. So here we go, I've got my automatically assigned DNS from my service provider. How to get into your router settings, there'll be a link in the cards above here so you can check it out. So I downloaded this app called DNS Benchmark and essentially it's going to run a test of my DNS servers compared to others to get a status update to see how do I compare to the rest. Here are my two DNSs and you can see there's a whole bunch of DNSs which are actually faster. Link to this, by the way, will be in the description below so you can test this yourself on your own system. Now, you can see here there's one DNS, oh, there's Cloudflare's DNS 1.1.1, and I'm actually gonna see if I can change my DNS to this and see if it makes a difference. So, back into my router settings we go. I'm gonna change my DNS from what it was to 1.1.1.1, and in the secondary DNS, 1.0.0.1, and let's apply that. And then let's rerun the benchmarking test. I wanna see how I fare now. Okay, there we go, I'm near the top. And so the next step is let's run a speed test. Now I'm gonna test it against the Windstream server and I'm running it on a five gigahertz Wi-Fi network straight to my router and I wanna see what the results are going to be. Okay, so that's pretty decent by all accounts. Right? I want to run another speed test, but this time I'm gonna use Google speed test. So just Google, Google speed test, and then hit the run speed test, and it will test your connectivity. Now, of course, they're gonna be different, testing against different servers, but I just wanna get two points of references, one from speedtest.net and one from Google. Next up, what I'm gonna do is then change my DNS and see if it actually makes a difference when you change it to this one of the very, very slow DNS servers that was available on the benchmark application. That's gonna give me two opposing sides, one fast and one slow, and let's see if it makes a difference. 
Right, let's go find one of those little slow DNS right at the bottom of that list. Let's enter that into my router settings. Again, if you don't know how to get into your router settings, the link will be up here in the cards above. Let me choose somewhere near the bottom. So before, remember we had nice and quick was 1.1.1.1 1 .1 near the top of those benchmarking tests. This one is near the bottom. So there we go. Those are the two that I've chosen and let's apply that. And then let's go back and then rerun the same test. One stream server, so testing like for like, still the five gigahertz network, nothing's changed except for the DNS. Right, let's fast forward this so you don't have to watch this. And okay, those are the results. But don't worry, I'll compare them again later so you don't have to remember what is what. And one more time, let's go run the Google test as well, just again, so we've got two points of references, and then we've got a nice comparison to go through. Right, here are the results. As you can see, the fast DNS takes a lead, but nothing significant. I mean, it is an improvement, but is it enough to be conclusive to say that changing your DNS makes it faster? Well, yes and no. You see, when it comes to internet connectivity and internet speed, there's a couple of factors that come into play. So the first one is you at your computer, you on your phone going to a website, going to an address, going to a location, sending an email. It needs to do that initial lookup. It needs to go out to the DNS, find that IP address, find which server it sits on, and therefore send you that information. But then that process is over. DNS no longer plays a part. So things like downloading your files, downloading a game, making your internet faster for that, well, other factors come into play, like your connectivity, your ISP, what kind of routers have you got? What kind of Wi-Fi do you have? Those are the issues that come into play. But let's test this. This is the fast DNS. I'm gonna to go to this thing called the useless websites. And the reason I'm going to this because it's taking me to random websites, which I don't frequent. You press the button, takes you to another useless website, and I want you to see how quickly it pops up. You press the button, it does the lookup, and there's the website. The reason this is important because it's not sites that I've been to. It's not stuff that's been cached. It's not stuff that my servers are used to seeing. So therefore these are all random and look how quickly they pop up. Very important. Now let's change to the slow DNS and run the same test. I'm gonna click on the button and look how slow it is resolving that website name to an IP address. Those DNS servers are working frantically hard trying to find where the server is. So you can see the difference. Before you press the button, it load. Now you press the button and you wait. So therefore, is changing the DNS going to make a difference? Well, yes it is. If you're constantly looking up websites, you're constantly going from the name to the IP address, yes, it will make a difference having a nice fast DNS. However, once you arrive at the website, the DNS no longer plays a role. You're on the site, it's down to the server, it's down to the connectivity, it's down to your bandwidth, and therefore changing the DNS at this stage is not going to make a difference to your internet speed. But getting there, sure will. Now you know, I cannot wait for the comments to come flooding in about this one. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you're into tech, gadget, apps, tips and tricks, then hit that head below to subscribe. Check out some of these other cool videos on the same subject and other cool tech, and I'll see you over there.